So, hey, what is going on, fiends? So, the producer for Guillermo del Toro's Frankenstein has come out today and said that del Toro is creating his own monster universe. Universal be damned. I added that last part because Universal has been swinging and missing with a lot of these old classic characters while Del Toro has been just hitting home runs like Aaron Judge, i.e. Shape of Water winning an Oscar. And if there is any filmmaker out there that I trust with these old characters, it is Del Toro. But I've got the article from IGN.com, so let's have a look. Says Frankenstein producer says Guillermo del Toro is building his own monster universe, the third film in his father trilogy. Frankenstein producer J. Miles Dale has referred to Guillermo del Toro's upcoming film adaption of the Mary Shelley's gothic horror novel as the second installment in the director's cinematic monster universe. Hey, if you guys want to join the Navy, there you go. Start your journey at Navy.com. The acclaimed filmmaker helmed the Oscar-winning creature feature The Shape of Water, and he is now busy piecing together his next monster movie, a star-studded Frankenstein adaption. During an interview with the Academy's A. Frame, Dale noted, these two movies are part of a new monster universe. At one time, he was going to do the monster universe with Universal. Frankenstein's Bride, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Invisible Man, The Wolf Man, and he didn't. Dale explained, We feel like Shape of Water was the kind of a version of a creature. So now, here he is doing his own monster universe. Del Toro has spoken about his desire to adapt Frankenstein as far back as 2008. And Dale says the director is committed to bringing a different take on Mary Shelley's 1818 novel to the screen. One that deals with the themes of family and tap into the deeply emotional undercurrents of the famously tragic tale. In the last couple of films, certainly with Nightmare Alley and then with Pinocchio, we've dealt with the whole father-son relationship and Guillermo and I both lost our fathers in the last few years. When you have a strong father figure, it's a big part of our lives, Dale shared. This version of Frankenstein very much goes down that thematic road. So, I feel like this is the third film in Guillermo's father trilogy. That's exciting, and when you read the script, it's very emotional and, of course, very iconic. A report earlier this year revealed that Andrew Garfield, Oscar Isaac, and Mia Goth are all on board to star in Galerum and Del Toro's Frankenstein movie. Dale teased the adaption has a pretty good cast, but refrained from sharing further details about the roles the trio will be starring in and who may appear alongside them. I can already tell you, more likely Garfield's going to play the part of uh, Dr. Frankenstein, and Mia Goth's going to be the love interest. Uh... I don't know if I could see Oscar Isaac as the monster. Um, I could see Oscar Isaac as Igor. It's a pretty good cast, Dale said. We've had pretty good cast the last couple of films. The last one was insane, frankly. I mean, that's a pinch me cast. And so was the Shape of Water cast. That's another dream cast. I think there are a lot of actors that really want to work with Guillermo, and so that makes things a little bit easier. So it should be fun. Nothing's easy, and that one's not going to be easy. It's a big movie with a ship stuck in the ice and a ton of other things, but we've got a little bit of lead time on it, and we're excited to get going. Frankenstein looks to be Del Toro's next live action project, though first, he will co-write and direct a stop-motion adaption of Kazu's Ishiguro's fantasy novel, The Buried Giant, for Netflix. He is keen to dedicate more time to making animated movies over live-action features going forward in his career. So there you go. Guillermo del Toro is making his own monster universe. As I said at the beginning of this video, Universal be damned.
because Universal has no hand in this whatsoever. Um, they really don't own those properties, you know. You, we're talking about public domain properties like Dracula and Frankenstein and the Invisible Man and so on and so forth. So just about any studio can touch them. It's just the um, if you're going to make them, they can't look like the actual Universal. You know, no duh, right? But I think Del Toro has kind of become the James Whale of this generation taking these characters that we hold near and dear and bringing them to life the right way. And though I know um, the Writers Guild and the Actors Guild are currently on strike and that's pretty much shutting everything down, I would much rather wait for this film to be made. Though I'm impatient for it, I do want to see it because I love Shape of Water. It is a truly beautiful beautiful film um i never thought you could take creature from the black lagoon and make such a beautiful film with it um but they did but with that said like i like i said i will be patient for this one because i want it to be done right because there has been so many frankenstein movies done over the years that have been complete trash they have not to say they're not good popcorn movies they are but they don't hold up to that Boris Karloff Frankenstein that we all know and love. And anyway, guys, you all let me know down here in the comments below how you all feel about Guillermo and his handling of these properties going forward. And also, too, if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. And uh, could you, if you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button down below doesn't cost you a thing, just makes me happy. And also, too, how do get that notification bell, give us a thumbs up. And as always, it's been your old buddy John, and I'll see you again next time.